I've got some uh, calls for you, Richard, coming into our program here. First of all, the ghost tour that you invented so many years ago to take people who were interested out to various locations so they could see for themselves the things that have been talked about on the radio, read about in the newspapers and magazines. How many complete tours have you now designed? Uh, currently, I have tour number two. Of course, each tour I have is a daytime and nighttime version. I have tour number two, standard tour, which is a western suburban run. And once again, as I mentioned earlier in the spring, though, I'll have uh, the Indiana overnight trip and a north and northwest side of Chicago tour. My first tour, which I began in 1973, ran just about diagonally from the DePaul University area, Lincoln Park, uh, south southwesterly into the uh, down to Bachelors Grove, 143rd, uh, just east of Ridgeland. Bachelors Grove Cemetery, one of the most famous haunted locations in all of the Chicago metropolitan area. So the first tour ran diagonally uh, uh, south southwesterly. The current tour runs on a north south axis along the Des Plaines River primarily. The uh, Indiana tour will be between here and Indianapolis, and the north and northwest side tour will be the Evanston area uh, all the way to the west. So be covering the entire uh, area. There's ghosts all over. We're going to pick them all up eventually. Now, don't some people who know you or, or people who run into you really try and poo-poo you and put you down and say, come on, there's no such thing as a ghost. There's no evidence. There's no proof. Everything can be explained. Well, that's not true because everything has not been explained, and there have been some very, very interesting pieces of unexplained uh, uh, happenings around Chicago, and I'm talking about uh, sightings as well as uh, physical evidence in the realm of photographic material, as well as in some other uh, hard physical evidence. And it's not all been explained, and that's, of course, what leaves that fascinating question mark uh, uh, for most people. Anyone with an open mind will say, hey, there's something that really deserves our attention, because it's not explained as of yet. Let me answer the telephone. Hello? 